If you enjoyed the content of the video, kindly click the like button. Please don't forget to tell your friends. Please share on Telegram, WhatsApp and Facebook groups. In the comments box, please list any prayers you would like to ask for. Please subscribe and click the bell button if you are watching for the first time. By clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Thank you. To Mother Mary's protection family, a very happy morning. I ask our beloved Jesus, Mama Mary and St. Joseph to bless you all and keep you happy and healthy and bring you all joy today. Today's Catholic Mass readings and reflections, January 18, 2023, Wednesday of the second week in Ordinary Time. First reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Hebrews, chapter 7, verses 1 to 3 and 15 to 17. Melchizedek, king of Salim, and priest of God most high, met Abraham as he returned from his defeat of the kings and blessed him. And Abraham apportioned to him a tenth of everything. His name first means righteous king. And he was also king of Salim, that is, king of peace. Without father, mother, or ancestry, without beginning of days or end of life, thus made to resemble the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. It is even more obvious if another priest is raised up after the likeness of Melchizedek, who has become so, not by a law expressed in a commandment concerning physical descent, but by the power of a life that cannot be destroyed. For it is testified, you are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Response Real Psalm Your response, you are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. Your response, You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power, the Lord will stretch forth from Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. Your response, you are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is a princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor, before the day star, like the dew I have begotten you. Your response, you are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has a soul and he will not repent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Your response, you are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark chapter 3 verses 1 to 6. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil? To save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent, looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart. Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel 
with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of today shows how Jesus helps the afflicted human race. Jesus heals a man with a withered hand despite the Sabbath injection prohibiting any employment on that day. Why? Jesus does not want us to feel powerless for this reason. He does not want us to cry out in suffering. Why would Jesus heal the man on the Sabbath when his acts pit him against the religious authorities who are out to kill him? Since a man with a withered hand is more significant to Jesus than a strict commandment. Dear friends, Jesus is challenging each of us today to foster a society that, that is more compassionate and just. Despite whatever resistance we may encounter, Lord, allow us to sympathize with one another and support one another as best we can. Dear friends, so let's all delight in living up to our status as Jesus' beloved children. Prayer. I thank you, Lord, for your delicate love and care for each and every member of my family under Mother Mary's protection. Lord, help each of us to be steadfast in you at all times, especially when we are faced with the difficulties in life. Give us the grace, Lord, to constantly speak up for the truth. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, by clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Let us meet in the next video with another new healing and life-giving message. Until then, may our gracious and loving God watch over you and keep you safe from all harm. Thank you for watching. God bless you.